Hi there, Matt Coach, Formula 1 Speed Cafe editor here at a soggy Imola on what should have been an opening practice day for the Emilia Romagna Grand Prix. That was of course cancelled during the week due to the flooding in northern Italy and I can tell you from first hand experience that absolutely it was the, uh, the right call. Uh, the conditions here are wet, it's currently raining. Uh, it was dry yesterday and it looked as though things were improving. Uh, things have improved but still there's significant flooding around the area. Certainly where I am, there's a lot of road closures around my hotel. In fact, just finding my hotel took an extra hour due to the uh, the road closures. So work now is going on dismantling the circuit. It's eerily silent here. As you can see behind me, I'm stood above Tosa. Uh, if we go just down there is Tosa and then we've got the Villeneuve chicane behind me and then back down in the distance there is uh is tamborello chicane the formula one paddock uh has been packed up i saw a number of formula one team trucks on the road yesterday the formula two and formula three paddocks they took on water the formula one paddock wasn't too bad but uh yeah formula one's absolutely got the right decision in terms of not going ahead with this one because although the track probably could be raced on we're relying on the on the weather easing basically if it picks up again like it was earlier in the weekend and forecast is for rain as i say it's raining now uh then that will uh that will see things quickly turn once more and uh also it's just access uh it's difficult to get around there are a lot of roads closed there's a lot of roads that are half closed there's a lot of roads that probably should be closed that aren't because there's just so much going on around this area at the moment so uh that's the latest from Imola here in Italy. Uh, I've got a couple of days ahead of myself now that I wasn't expecting to have, but uh, we'll continue to bring you lots of Formula One news over the coming days. Obviously, we've got supercars and Simmons planes to, to keep you occupied for the, for the next few days before we head to Monaco. I'll be there, as will my, uh, my partner in crime, Ian, Ian Parks. Uh, we'll be there and then on to Spain the weekend after. So still... A busy couple of weeks ahead of us, even if the Emilia-Romagna Grand Prix was very rightly cancelled by Formula One.